Welcome to Two Guys in a Podcast. I'm Tom. And I'm Mike. Back at you with another reaction video. Oh yeah! This time, uh, a requester. Don't know your name. Ronald but... Jones, I think. Okay. Uh, Eddie Griffin on Christianity, Muslims, the Bible, Jesus, religion. Sounds pretty interesting. Yep. Been requested uh, a lot. It has been requested a lot. I don't think we've seen it before. Nope. I don't I think, remember. I don't even know it. if we've done Eddie Griffin. Maybe one. I think we've done one. Maybe. I've remember. watched some Eddie Griffin because he's a funny dude. Yeah. But he's. I don't know where he's at now. But he ain't around. You don't hear about him much, do you? So no. So Just stand by while we get after it. Shut up and sit down. All right, we're back. Eddie Griffin on Christian Christians, Muslims, Bible, Jesus, and religion. All that stuff. Kind of all rolled together there. Big old happy sandwich. Lee was. Let's see what this dude's got to Let's say. Let's see what he's got to go here. I don't go to church. God don't live in church. They say the body is the temple. I'm walking in church right now. <laughs> Soon as you go to church, there's somebody trying to stick a dick in you and they need some money. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. Every war in humanity's history has been over some kind of motherfucking religion. You know what I mean? I don't get caught up in that bullshit because I don't think God ever wrote a Bible or a Quran. He didn't have to write no shit. He ain't no playwright. It's written in your essence. Because the Bible is written by men. The book of Peter, the book of John, the whole book about Jesus, but that nigga ain't wrote one book. <laughs> the motherfucker that is about didn't write shit. All the hangouts wrote a book. Shit, I know the nigga, nigga. <laughs> And you notice in each one of them book, they the closest one to Jesus. Peter like, shit, me and Jesus was tight, nigga. In John's book, shit, I was damn near the nigga daddy, you know. <laughs> God didn't write no book. It's written in your essence. Nobody ever had to tell you it's wrong to kill your mama. Somehow you born innately knowing that. Which means you born knowing right and wrong. So put the book down, because it will fuck you up. You understand me? <laughs> it starts out messed up in the beginning in the book of Genesis. In the beginning, there was Adam and Eve. And Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. And Cain and Abel got married. To who? <laughs> Where did these mystery bitches come from? <laughs> I like messing with Christians, but Because they're easy to get. You can get on their skin quick, you know. You know, I tell a Christian in a minute, I say, I don't believe Jesus died on no cross. Sacrilege. I said, well, wait a minute. He could walk on water, feed a thousand with a loaf of bread, raise the dead. But you telling me this nigga couldn't handle three nails. <laughs> I know brothers with nine bullet wounds still walking around. <laughs> His name so. is 50 Cent. Yeah, 50 Cent. So. You telling me 50 cent colder than Jesus? Maybe you delusional motherfucker. I bet you Jesus was a cool kid. His mama be like, now Jesus, go on in there and take a bath and don't be walking on your water. <laughs> That's probably why they invented the shower, just to get the nigga wet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at some of the Christian heads in here. You going to hell? <laughs> Don't be talking about Jesus, Eddie. Don't be talking about it. You know how Jesus whistled? <laughs> you know with the hole in the hand. <laughs> Look, y'all really like, nigga, that's it, the lightning's coming. The lightning's coming. <laughs> Christian's always the first one to want to send somebody to hell. He going to hell. How the fuck you know? Like God came down, uh, let that nigga know he going to hell. I'm kind of busy right now. You know what I mean? I made my heavenly father's image. If I got a sense of humor, that means God got one. God probably up there cracking up right now. Hey, Jesus, come here. That crazy nigga I made his own. <laughs> he talking about your boy. He said you walk on your bathwater. 
He said to whistle like this. <laughs> I don't get mad, nigga. That shit was funny. That shit was funny. Try to make God this uptight asshole motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like if you get some pussy, you going to hell. You made the pussy. Shouldn't have made it so motherfucking good. I mean, what kind of catch 22 is that? Here, Eddie, here's some pussy, but don't partake in it. Shit, nigga. See, I be a Muslim, but the Muslim faith, they too strict. You know what I mean? You can't smoke no weed. You can't get your dicks up by a bitch that ain't your wife. Matter of fact, you can't see your wife's face until you marry her. They keep them bailed up. All you get to see is the eyes. You really got to love that bitch's eyes. <laughs> you be like, damn, she got some pretty eyes. Then you marry her as the bell come off. Nah, 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 nah. No wonder they get 20 wives. You playing the law of averages. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think Christians are jealous of Muslims. Because you ain't going to out devout a Muslim. That's the most devout faith you ever run into. A Muslim will strap a bomb on theyself and blow theyself up about some Muhammad. As a Christian to put a bomb on and blow theyself up about Jesus. <laughs> no, he, he wouldn't want me to do that. <laughs> he just blessed me with this house. I'm sure he wants me to live in it. Everybody fighting over this religion shit. You understand me? The Christians say Jesus is the messenger. The Muslims say it's Muhammad. I say, who gives a fuck who the message is? Did you get the message? Kind of clear, fair question. <laughs> they got the same damn message. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Science proves that to be a fact. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Don't fuck with me, and I won't fuck with you. <laughs> That's pretty good. He is I have a feeling that got cut off there, but that that was pretty good. That's the only one we saw yeah. for that particular. So let us know if that got cut off. I mean, obviously, that's a longer uh, special or whatever he did there, but that was pretty good. He's funny as hell. You know what I really like about him is his voice. Is like, it, you know, his voice unique. And, well, well and he, just his sound of his voice is unique. And his movements are, I mean, he uses the movements in his routines really well, too. Yeah, he's funny as hell. The whole walking on water thing. <laughs> Whistle. <laughs> Gotta have a sense of humor. Hell yeah. About anything and everything. He is probably going hell, though, but. All right, so, again, thanks for watching that. That was Eddie Griffin on Christians, Muslims, Religion. Yeah, and since we were watching, you know, how you, the end of the video, it shows little boxes of different videos and whatnot, and we saw Eddie Griffin real story on the N-word. We're going to throw that one in here, too. We're a bonus video for you guys. Yeah, short one, but should be funny. Eddie Griffin, back to back, baby. Let's do it. Then the next shit I'm on the news, man, I went down to Miami. You know, this is about Al Sharpton got on the news, you know, talking about Eddie said the N-word shit. Let me tell y'all the real story, because the news only going to give you half of the shit. Nigga, I've flown down to Miami for the... <laughs> <laughs> for the Black Enterprise uh, Golf Tennis Extravaganza. Now, why they fly my ignorant black ass for some golf, tennis, extravaganza shit is beyond me to begin with. Because I don't play no motherfucking golf, nigga. I don't like the game. You got to hit a little motherfucking ball, then walk and go hit the motherfucker again. <laughs> Take too much goddamn time. Just pick the shit up. Got it. <laughs> so I'm down there. Now, they told me I was there to present. Now, I don't know if you know what presenting is. You know, I get on stage and I say, and the next motherfucker is, good night. <laughs> Oh, so I'm sitting there with Moore's day, nigga. We by the ninth hole at the bar drinking and shit. So Moore's like, are you going to show out tonight? <laughs> I said, Moore's, hold on, nigga. <laughs> I'm here to present, motherfucker. He's like, that ain't what the brochure said. <laughs> so I look at the brochure, man. They got me performing. 
So five minutes before I'm getting ready to go on to present, Earl Gray Jr. walks up to me. He's like, Eddie, crowd here to see you, man. They want you to do your thing, bro. You understand me? Give them a show, bro. I said, excuse me, brother, don't you get paid for selling your magazine? Well, I get paid for slanging jokes. You understand me? You ain't about to trick a free show out of niggas, so go find me some joke money. <laughs> and then jokes can be told. <laughs> so they go have a huddle. They could come back, you know, they found my money. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, we can do show now. <laughs> He's like, can you do me a favor, brother? Can you not say the N-word or MF? I said, nigga, you mean motherfucker? <laughs> fuck you talking about nigga i'm an artist motherfucker this is what i do for 22 goddamn years nigga if you wanted bill cosby no disrespect to dr cosby's form of humor but if you wanted dr cosby you should have hired him nigga this is eddie griffin i say nigga i'm an artist you wouldn't tell picasso not to cut his motherfucking ear off <laughs> you know what i mean that's like telling prince go on stage but don't play the guitar nigga <laughs> so they go have another huddle he come back he's like hey you can do you I said, brother, I'm going to give you one more chance. I can give you this money back. I can go on and present because I see these bougie motherfuckers in the audience might not understand it. <laughs> he said, no, Ed, you can do you. I said, I'm going to give you one more chance, nigga. He said, no, Ed, you can do you. I said, all right, cool. Nigga, I go out on stage. I grab the mic. And them niggas back there tripping. <laughs> they going to tell me not to say the N-word. That would be nigga. So I guess I have to say motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. And I said, I don't even know what the motherfucking trip is. OJ killed a white woman, walked. Kobe supposedly raped one, walked. Michael Vick killed a dog, the nigga going to jail. That's when they cut the mic off. That <laughs> nigga got paid. So I dropped the mic, nigga. I said, <laughs> and walk the fuck off. <laughs> that was funny. That was, so there, yeah, there was a big controversy about that because he got criticized by Al Sharpton. Um, imagine that Al Sharpton criticizing somebody um, about that whole skit. But hey, Eddie, you do you, man. It is what it is. Get paid. Get 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 the Benjamins, and then and then do you. The fuck? That's the whole point, right? It's funny sure. shit. Censorship is for the birds. So fuck the bunch of you. Thanks for watching. Don't yeah. watch. Watch. Yeah. Have a good time. Grand Comedy person, is funny. Fuck off. Doesn't matter. Yeah, fuck you. Um, uh, we love you. Not really. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. That was a bonus. Two for two. Eddie Griffin. Two for two there. Uh, two short ones. <clears throat> we'll do some more of his stuff. He's funny as hell. Definitely. So, hope you liked them. Leave some comments in the in the down below here. Like and subscribe over here. Isn't that weird? Like and subscribe and leave comments over there. We've talked about that before. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Um, we didn't even plan that. Subscribe, like, notifications, all that jazz. Share it, ads, whatever you got to do. Thanks for hanging with us. We appreciate the support. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Tom. Deuces.